everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am doing the Ho 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 writing tag. Question number one is Santa Claus. If you could ask Santa for one thing off your author bucket list, what would you ask for and why? I mean, is it kind of cheating to be like, hey Santa, like, <laughs> make me a career in publishing because that's definitely on the bucket list. <laughs> but I guess my actual answer for this would be that when my book finally does debut, that it debuts well. I think that's kind of a cheat answer because by debuting well, that means that I do get an agent and that I do get picked up by a publisher and that everything goes well <laughs> already so it's all jumbled up together. You have to milk Santa for all he's worth. Number two, Ghost of Christmas Past. What is one piece of advice that you wish your past self knew about writing or what advice would you give to a fellow aspiring writer? I think what I would have told my past self is that if you do as much research as you can before you actually start outlining and drafting and things like that, the process goes so much smoother. Um, I did a lot of research myself before I started writing, but I wish I would have done more. I watched a lot of Brandon Sanderson's um, like how to write videos, which are excellent, and I highly recommend those to aspiring writers. Um, and I think I read like one how to write science fiction book. But it wasn't until I had finished my first draft and I was trying to figure out what to do with the mess before me that I really started looking into um, f other fiction books and how to properly tell a story in the most dynamic way. I started listening to podcasts, I started watching other YouTubers, specifically um, traditionally published authors on YouTube. I know that sounds tedious, but trust me, it's so much easier to revise when your messy first draft is just messy and not a disaster. So know basic writing rules of grammar and punctuation, do some craft research, know how to make a dynamic plot and arc good characters. Just know the basics at least. But the more you know, the better it will be. So yeah. <laughs> Question three is elves. Santa has his little helpers. What resources have been most helpful for you or most invaluable in your writing process? Well, I've kind of already mentioned it. I love watching other writers' YouTube videos. Brandon Sanderson's are amazing. I will link them down below so you can check them out. I love Alexa Dunn. I love Kim Chance's videos. Would this be a writing video if I didn't mention The Anatomy of Story? This is probably the best writing book I've ever read. Get this, okay, if you want to be a writer, like this is going to teach you all about how to make an impactful, dramatic, explosive emotional story so this is a great resource and I think Twitter in general um I was kind of late to the Twitter game I didn't get one till like last year it's been so great because I follow authors agents editors other aspiring writers and you just learn so so much from them and their posts it's great check it out number four is gingerbread cookies what is your favorite holiday treat and what is your MC from your current work in progress is a favorite holiday tree? This is such a cute question. One of my favorite foods that has been in our family for like generations are these things called pecan petites, which are basically like these little tiny individual pecan pies. Pecan pies. How is it? Tell me how you say it in the comments. Pecan or pecan? It like has divided our family in half. I'm gonna say pecan because that makes me sound more like eloquent and educated. But they are pecan petites. They're delicious. They're so soft and I just love them. They're so expensive to make though which kind of sucks when you're broke. <laughs> and then my main character's favorite Christmas treat. I think she would just probably like whatever. Well in my book she canon loves um, like sweet breads. So like holiday breads. I could see her loving some like cranberry nut breads and things like that. So I think anything that's just a baked good and sweet she'd be down for. Number five is holiday traditions. What is your favorite family tradition? One of my favorite traditions that my family does is um, on my dad's side when we're all opening gifts we're all like sitting around my aunt's living room and there's like 15 or 20 of us and you never know when it's gonna start but all of a sudden people start taking wrapping paper and like just beaming it across the room at other people. My grandmother when she was alive was like a beast at this. Like you think this frail old like 98 year old woman ain't gonna have a cane and arm she does. But yeah, our Christmases just dissolve once everyone's opened their gifts. It turns into bedlam and there's just, <laughs> it's just mayhem and bless my heart. My husband's first Christmas, he had no idea and I might have specifically not warned him. Um, and then, <laughs> you know, 
he didn't know to duck and cover. Then the second part of the question is, what fictional character would you like to share that tradition with? <laughs> be funny if it was the girl, the main character from Children of Blood and Bone, what's her name? Azalea or Azalea or whatever. She has like that stick thing and she can like stand in front of me and just block them all like wah, 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 wah. Number six is the star of Bethlehem. What started your journey to writing your first book? I definitely think it's my love of reading. Um, my grandmother started reading to me really young and I learned to love it from there. Books have made me who I am today and yeah. Okay and the second part of the question is has the journey turned out like you imagined? Well my journey definitely isn't done. I feel like I'm in the very beginning stages of my writer journey but I mean it's it's pretty much where I saw myself. I thought I would be done with a book like a year before to be honest but life gets in the way. You know how it is. But I'm not really upset with that. I just kind of roll with the punches. And where would you like to see your journey go in the future? Um, I want to be a published author and not only that, like I want to have a career. I want to have books coming out for people to buy like every year and a half or two years and I'd love to make a living off of it. And I, okay, like this is actually something that would like break my heart if I was able to do. <laughs> but I want to be that writer that introduces a kid to literature and makes them love reading. Like I just think about the writers that did that for me in those books and how much those books like make up my heart like not even have a place in my heart they like developed who I am and like what I love and I would just love to be the author that does that for somebody else so like yeah that's where I want to be in the future <laughs> number seven is the night before Christmas what is your favorite book to read during the holidays I actually don't read books every holidays I probably should um I do have this one that's really cute let me see if I can find it okay so I used to read this book back in the day every Christmas when I was a kid and it's The Legend of Holly Claus. It's about Santa Claus's daughter and she comes down to earth because like Santa Claus lives in like an Olympus type world, whatever the gods are up there. He's like a god. So this is his daughter and he comes and she comes down to earth and like just is so nice to all the little children and like gives them toys and it's just, it's an adorable middle grade novel. I used to read this all the time. So um, I really, I really should revisit this soon. Number eight is Christmas parties. What's your best advice for juggling writing with a busy holiday season? Just do it. Make the time. You, If you're serious about this, you have to make the time for it. One of my favorite quotes is um, Libba Bray's quote, and she says for aspiring writers, write like it matters and it will. So if you treat this like a career, eventually with a bit of luck, it will become a career. So you just got to make time for it. You've got to get up an hour early, go to bed an hour late, kick your kids and husband out of the house. Whatever you need to do to get that time, you got to do it. This is just such a positive, happy channel. Like, aren't you glad I give all this writing advice? <laughs> Number nine is Polar Express. What rituals do you use to transport yourself into the world of your book or mindset of your characters? This is an interesting question. I feel like most people use like um, Pinterest boards or music and stuff like that and I've used music and Pinterest boards before but one of the really kind of weird things that I like to do is I just like to sit and think and like meditate on my stories and my characters and what they would be doing at certain times so like if I'm in the shower I'll just like play out this whole scene in my head of my main character or whoever is in the scene I'm writing um, and just what they're doing like if they're literally just sitting down to dinner and like chilling at the table with their family I go through my head and play it out like a movie like what each character would be doing and saying with each other and it really just like puts you in the world and when I do this I make sure I get like all five senses in there like I'm imagining the smells the taste the sounds everything going on and it really just it transports you it's like a movie in your head and that's what I do. Number 10 is sugar spice and everything nice. In the spirit of spreading kindness and cheer, give a special shout out to someone who has been instrumental in your writing journey or someone who has really helped you along the way. For this, I am giving my shout out to my amazing critique partner, Jessica. I found her around this time last year. It's like our one year friendship CP anniversary, so that's really exciting. Um, she was hard to find, guys. CPs are hard to find, especially good ones. But she was a little diamond in the rough, and she's wonderful. And I actually consider her, like, an actual friend. Like, when I think of, like, my friends and I name them off, like, she is in that group. And she's just wonderful. She's made my book. She's just transformed it so much. It's, like, a totally different caliber since she started helping me and she just motivates me and makes me happy and she's really sweet and she like watches all my videos so hi Jess. 
Alrighty guys, so that was the Ho 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 writing tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to hear some of the answers to these questions down below. So let me know like what your favorite holiday treat is or some crazy cr traditions you have or what gets you in the mood to write. I'm also like really hungry right now and for some reason I decided to start doing low carb like right before Christmas. So like tell me all your favorite snacks and just torture me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!